Oda has given Blackbeard a quick and eventful rise to the top, and in just a short time period, he has become Yonko. I don't think that it is a coincidence. Remember when Shanks asked Whitebeard and then later the world government to interfere with Teacher's plan? I think they eventually will have to make a move, and I think the event that pushes them over the edge is if Garp or Okoji gets killed. Okoji would make more sense to me if he died at the hands of Blackbeard, and to see Garp avenge Ace by killing Blackbeard will feel all too right. And I think it does happen if Blackbeard's death is based on the real Blackbeard. The real Edward Teach fantastic and historical reign only lasted for about 2-3 to three years, and on the third year he died in battle, and since his death in 1718 he has been the most famous pirate. It's recorded that he may have died during his early 40s. I searched up what Blackbeard's age might be in One Piece, and most One Piece fandom would agree that he is actually 40 years old after the time skip. I think Oda has been masterfully giving us clues on Blackbeard's demise since his first appearance. We've seen the headaches, the grimacing painful looks in his face, the missing teeth, and his quick emergence to the top. It's all based on the real Edward Teach. In the year 1718, Edward Teach was killed by a well-experienced British Navy officer. In short, he became the most famous pirate in less than three years to be killed in a bloody fight where he was wounded over 20 times by a brave lieutenant. I think Oda is setting the table up for Blackbeard's death by the hands of an admiral. This is why Kobe got kidnapped and why Koji is with Blackbeard. In my previous video, I talked about the real life Goldie Roger and how his life and death is based on Olivier Lavoisier. If Oda has based Blackbeard's life and death on the real Blackbeard's Edward Teach, then we may be seeing his demise sooner than later.